was born and raised to grade school level in Brooklyn, New York, and then wound up going out into Long Island and Rhode Island to uh, the University of Rhode Island's fishery program. And so it was a wonderful opportunity for a young man. I was 21 years old when I got my first command on a boat called the uh, Sundance. And it was, you know, right place, right time, way too young. Didn't really know what I was doing, but I figured it out pretty quickly. East Coast, I fished off the West Coast. I fished around Hawaii, New Zealand, Japan, Australia. Just kept going to different nations and studying the fishing gear technology and hitchhiking around and going to these fishing ports and kind of observing things, shipyards and boats and trawls and different nets and stuff like that. And I realized I was getting very good at becoming a much better commercial fisherman fishermen, but in essence, I was getting good at hunting and killing what I loved most, which was wild creatures and wild places. With that consciousness, I kind of lost my ability to kill in that industrial mass that you have to if you're a commercial fisherman, you have to be kind of a cutthroat. And I came up to New Hampshire in the early 80s uh, to kind of turn my back on the commercial fishing industry or the slaughter of the commercial fishing industry. And without really any preconceived notions of being an artist, just kind of uh, position myself in a way that I needed to make a living other than a commercial fisherman and I had some talents as a, a draftsman. And a friend of mine told me I should learn to etch and even though I was too embarrassed to ask this person what the meaning of etching meant, when I was building my cabin in the woods, a catalog from UNH showed up and it said introduction to printmaking etching and I said, oh, that's what my friend was talking about. And they take that course and as soon as I came to the class I realized I would figure it out because it basically had a matching of art and machinery in the same room and so it didn't take me very long to figure out how to print well and then reinvent printmaking.